This man shot two police officers in broad daylight. The coward then went and killed himself. I don't know if this was some type of Islamic uh, or if he's going to get a whole bunch of virgins in the next life, but it really shows the cowardice. And this, you know, and then you have the likes of uh, Governor Cuomo taking advice, and this happened in Bever Stafferson. You have the, uh, the governor of a, of a major state, you have the governor of a state in the American Union taking advice from a man who's advocated for the killing of black men, for the prostitution and destruction of black people, and that of Jay-Z. And I think that's a problem. You have a mayor in de Blasio who's used the race card and that these people have been subjugated and, and um, you know, for centuries under slavery. I think the governor, I think the mayor needs to be, they need to step down. They have provided aid and cover and excuses to the likes of Ishmael Brinsley. I think Al Sharpton needs to be held accountable because they provide excuses and they, I've talked about the intellectualizing of Jarbo that comes from this. And that's all Prislam does. If you look at the likes of Louis Farrakhan, only thing they do is intellectualize and use excuses on some type of system that they think holds them down. And these dumb, unsuspecting black men, blacks in general, they feed at the trough of this nonsense. I don't know how much I got to keep stressing. Do not think this is just run-of-the-mill neighborhood guys just killing. No, I think this is an intricate, very sophisticated way for radical Islamic groups to get inside America and to destroy from within. I'm not just talking to make a talking point. I really believe this. When you look at some of these Instagrams, when you look at some of these, these channels who have this Islamic, this, this infused with this street crime, this street martyr mentality, that's what it's called. This whole black street martyr mentality. And radical groups are going to use this as a justification. And they're going to do, they're going to tell these, these gullible, easily impressionable black men that look how America treats you. Come join us. We'll help you fight the infidel America that keeps you out of a job, that keeps you subjugated. That, I'm telling you, this is what I believe this is what's going on, folks. I really believe it. I, 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 I can't put my finger on it. I, I mean, and, it's, and it's, it's a whole bunch. It's, it's so much cooperation with the hip-hop industry. This man was a uh, quoted 50 Cent, another um, proponent, and, he, uh, and also advertised the killing of black men. You need to be wary, and I'm telling some of these rich Hollywood types, when you get involved with these people, you got to understand where they're from. They're from the inner city gutter streets. They may have a whole, a whole lot of money, millions of dollars, but that mentality doesn't change. And you have these liberal, democratic heads, leaders in New York, in that of, of Cuomo, Governor Cuomo, and Mayor de Blasio, Loaning sympathy. And I don't think it's a coincidence. And now you have dead police. This is the second major attempt on police officers in the last two months. It's getting out of control. You have these liberal, communist, socialist traitor professors at these liberal cesspool universities pumping this nonsense into these young 18, 19 impressionable heads talking about killing police. There needs to be some accountability. 
And I tell the police departments, go full throttle on these terrorist clowns that love to use their religion as a cloak. That you love to use there, and if you call on it, it's racism. It's nonsense. I think this is going to bring the very heavy hand that New York needs, New York City needs. And I think police need to bring the heavy arm of the law. Despite these callings of, of all these anti-gun rhetoric coming from these liberal, soft on crime, naive boneheads, you need to drop the hammer on this. I'm telling you, drop the hammer. I can't say, yes, I'm a little animated because what happens, black men like me are being used as scapegoats. Other men that look like me are, are, are perceived threats, are now the face of urbanized, homegrown terrorism. And if I can change that, I'm going to continue to speak because they don't speak for me. I like to think I speak for a majority of black men out here who can see past this foolishness. Here, this guy went and shot two police officers, shot a family member, has a laundry list of a criminal record. And now, we're, somewhere, somehow, he's going to be paraded around as some martyr. No, he's a freaking coward. He's a coward. Peace.